Welcome to Kellyanne Cares, a -a one-of-a-kind show created to motivate, stimulate, educate, and inspire you personally and professionally. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm an entrepreneur, patient advocate, content creator, and author. You may know me from the Everything is Messy book, brand, and podcast, but what you may not know is how hard I had to work to get me to where I am today mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. And in this season, I'm more driven and extremely passionate about my purpose to help you save the time, money, and energy it takes to be happier and get healthier with your mind, body, business, and life. Tune in every week to hear raw, unfiltered conversations from myself and my incredible guests as we discuss trending topics, share stories of resilience, and chat about all things health, wealth, healing, and wellness. Whether you're here to listen, learn, or laugh, I promise to bring awareness and add more value to your day. Take this time to relax and recharge. Listen, life is short. Invest in yourself. Be loud. Be different. Be you. And most importantly, enjoy the ride. Buckle up because today's podcast experience starts now. One more thing. Sharing is caring. I would love your thoughts on today's episode. Head on over to Apple Podcasts to rate, review, and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. Want to continue the conversation? Let's connect online. You can find me at kellyangorman.com and all my social links are in the show notes. Now let's get into today's show. As you know, I took a little hiatus from the podcast this summer, and that was the first time in five years, but man, was I needed. As you heard in my previous episodes, my level of self-care and personal development is something you cannot mess with. I'm obsessed with a good routine, especially when it allows me to grow my mind, body, business, and life. Investing in yourself is so important. It allows you to get to that place where you truly want to be at in life, a place you deserve to be at, right? Whether you are new to the show or you've been a loyal listener since 2017, You know that I'm a huge fan of saving time, money, and energy. More reading, watching, and learning equals more growth, and I am here for it. Less social media and more skills and strategy for success. If you tuned into the show today, then I know you are someone like myself who appreciates all the business tools, and Parita Labs has just that. When you visit ParitaLabs.com, you are signing into a 200-plus on-demand video library. Just think of your favorite series on Netflix you binge. It's like that, but for business. The information, production quality, and education you receive from top execs is seriously unmatched. You are getting business education and learning skills, aka your practical MBA, from your new mentors from companies such as Disney, Hulu, Goldman Sachs, Sony Pictures Entertainment, Starbucks, ZipRecruiter, Lyft, and so many more. I wasn't kidding when I said unmatched. Pareto Labs just won three Telly Awards on top of all of that. Whether you are just starting, building, pivoting, investing, or selling, there is seriously something for everyone. How to read financial statements, build a startup, customer surveys, branding strategy, mission statements, acquisition costs, financial management. I mean, I could go on, but I want you to check them out for yourself because the structure and integrity of courses is incredible. Also, can I just add how entertaining and engaging these videos are? You are learning new concepts in the most productive and informative way. Again, Pareto Labs educational platform is unmatched. So just the other day, I was watching a course on leadership and a friend of mine was in the room and she's like, oh my God, what is that? I need that for my team. She immediately signed up and then we were watching the another course on how to budget and build a budget with Joe's Pizza and the founders of Pareto Lab, and it was so good. Right now, I'm also getting into the business law courses, cryptocurrency, hiring, and raising capital. Every month, new content is also added, so it's the continuing education that truly stands out for me, and I think that you're going to become obsessed, just as I am. Are you ready for the best part? I have a free trial. This is something that is going to give you two weeks for free, plus your first month is half off. That's two weeks free, and your first month is half off. I don't know any other trial that gives you that amount of content at this price, which by the way is $7 for three weeks. Visit paritolabs.com and enter the code Kelly at checkout. Again, I cannot wait to hear which courses you jump into first because they're all so, so good. Visit paritolabs.com, enter the code Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y at checkout. You will get not one, but two free weeks plus your first month is half off. Pareto Labs, learn it today, use it tomorrow. Again, visit paretolabs.com, enter the code Kelly at checkout to get your free trial and first month started today. Now let's get into today's show. Okay guys, welcome back. Today's episode is all about entrepreneurship and let me tell you something, it is hard. H-A-R-D in caps with three exclamation points, hard. (laughs) If you receive my newsletters, you know that I write in caps and exclamation points all of the time. It's just kind of like a piece of my personality, but it is so hard. And the last four months have been so intense for me. I am not going to sugarcoat a thing. 
I think that I am wrapping up this healing journey, this six year full circle moment being in Las Vegas. And I don't even know why I'm still here, like lessons that everything is teaching me on a daily basis. But the one thing I do know is I am a completely different person than I was six years ago when I lived here when I was sick. And every morning I wake up and I'm just so grateful that I can wake up and see. I'm not having relapses. I'm not heading off to a chemo appointment. I am drinking the juice. I'm doing my gratitude practice. I'm journaling. I'm going for my walks. I'm listening to the best podcasts out there, audiobooks, whatever I feel like I need in my life, like music, whatever. By the way, I'm obsessed with Lizzo's new album and Your World Within. Eddie Panero on YouTube and also I usually listen to him on Spotify but he I feel like he just speaks to me I mentioned that in the last episode I'm hoping he'll come on the show shortly but I didn't really focus hard on personal development when I was sick because I just like kind of gave up like I fought for my life but then I had nothing to heal now I'm healing holistically I'm on no meds no chemo I'm completely healthy. I think I'm like 30 something pounds less, actually probably even more. Um, I'm drinking the juice and eating the greens and just, I'm a different person. I'm a completely different person. I actually went to a meeting the other day and it was for um, a deal that I was doing and I decided 24 hours later that I just had to walk away. I'm like, why am I doing this? Like, I just got a bad vibe, bad energy. Is it worth the money? My old self would have just powered through and done it because I needed the money. Do I need the money? Absolutely. Do I have morals and do I have a work ethic and do I have a specific type of person I choose to work with? Absolutely. I walked away from a huge deal. And I am so proud of myself because the old version would not have done that. She would have powered through. And that's just one thing with entrepreneurship is you have to go with your gut 150% of the time. Are you going to lose deals? Are you going to have bad days? Are you going to have incredible deals and incredible days? Yes, 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 and yes. And each area of entrepreneurship will always teach you something, whether it's good or whether it's bad. Lessons learned every single moment. And I just wanted to take the time and do a quick little episode and share that because I'm in the middle of rebranding. I'm such a perfectionist. I'm a workaholic, like proudly, obviously that was my old show name. And business, LinkedIn, and podcasting are three of the things that I'm obsessed with doing, but also organizing things, being the most productive that you can possibly be. All these things and you being scheduled have to come into play for you to be the best version of yourself, in my opinion, okay? In my opinion. This is what I coach my clients. This is what I've done with myself. This is what I've written in my book, what I talk about on my shows. And, you know, I mentioned Pareto Labs earlier and I've spent hours looking at their stuff, their content, and you can tell, like they came into business during the pandemic, you know, so many companies did this and other brands I'm working with too. And you just have to get that creative juice flowing. And if you can't do it alone, you come in with some powerhouse people that know what they're doing. And that's a prime example of Pareto Labs. But when I join forces with other brands and business owners and entrepreneurs, like Everybody's good at one thing, right? My forte is scheduled, routine, productive, organized. Like that is what I'm obsessed with. And if you're not in business and you're not an entrepreneur, you do this in your real life. Because I have a friend and she just started a new job and she's a mom and she's crazy busy. And my best friend, same thing. And they're running around like a million, like a chicken with their head cut off doing a million things. And I'm helping my friend and I'm doing all these things. I'm like, I don't know how any parent did this during the pandemic. I don't know how you have screaming children around you and get work done. I I don't know how. Um, Luckily, I have a business where I can like reschedule things and like do audio and film and like do like add filters and like just make shit work. But sometimes that doesn't happen. And it just really got me thinking like, oh my God, like it really is hard to stay on schedule. And I just had um, a last minute trip pop up. I'm so excited. I'll share more later, but 
I had a bunch of things planned and so I had to reschedule them. If I was working for a corporation, like that might not be the case. So that's a really great high of entrepreneurship. A really um, low part of entrepreneurship is mental health. And I think that's really important to bring up because as somebody that's an advocate for mental health, and I have been since like, I don't even know, 2015 when I was sick and not sick and you know, that whole story. If you're new here, scroll back. It's a whole long story short. Um that you can listen to. But going back to entrepreneurship, like it's just so important to spend time on yourself first and figure out like what it is you truly want to do. And I think being in Las Vegas right now is teaching me that. I've gotten rid of a lot of programs and services like I'm just not like into anymore. And I really want to pivot and help like more parents and more moms, especially like follow their dreams and get organized and become more productive. And just the other day I was telling my friend, I was like, is your coffee prepared? Do you have meals prepped? Like, how are you going to do this in the morning? It's like going back to school, you know? And, um, sure enough, she was exhausted after her first day. Like who wouldn't be, but you have to prepare, like you have to have something planned and prepped. And I do the same thing with food as I do in my business and vice versa. Like I've just always been like that. And also I think that that's part of like my PTSD from like being afraid something's not going to happen or it's going to happen. But before I got sick, like that was always the case as well. So I think like just certain things like trigger it and then I go like crazy and do like extra. I don't know. But the best part of entrepreneurship is being able to take time. Like I I mentioned in the last episode, 331, about my mind, body, business, energy, and life cleanse that I decided to put myself on. It's like my own personal version of like 75 hard. I'm actually staring at it on my wall. Um, it's written down on a legal pad. If you feel if you feel the need to like join something like this, um, let me know. You could, we can be like accounting, accountability partners. But I think it's really important to just stop. If you, I mean, this is why I took a break from the show for two months over the summer. I've never done that since 2017. My voice needed it. My mind, my body, like I just needed a break. So I took one. So if you're a business owner and an entrepreneur and you can take a break and by taking a break, I mean like take a five, a 10 minute break for God's sakes, like go into a room by yourself, go take a bath, go read a book, do something that you feel called to do or do absolutely nothing. Binge Netflix, watch Bravo, like whatever you want, sit in silence, listen to a sound bath. I'm just like naming off all of my favorite things to do when I have a couple minutes. But what I did was I took time and like really wrote down like what it is I want to focus on. And as an entrepreneur, you can pivot, you can rebrand, you can reinvent yourself. Taking breaks is so important and you really get to like rediscover yourself. I am such a different person than I was six years ago here. And my eyes, like I just see things in such a different light because I honestly couldn't see half the time last time. Like everything I was doing was just a blur because I was so ill. And now it's like, I don't know, I'm wrapping up this chapter of life, like this healing journey. And it's just like insane. And I'm like, wow, you know, a couple months ago, I was sending my resume to all these corporations thinking that I could bring my podcast development Um, experience to them but nobody wanted a part of it and it's so crazy because I was like am I a failure for wanting to move into corporate America do I want a nine-to-five because entrepreneurship you're like 24-7 um don't get me wrong like work from home PTO like whatever like everything you see on TikTok and I'm like going to do the opposite I've never been one to do this like the trend um and it's just crazy and I had one interview with about over 200 resumes sent first time in like 12 years I think I've done this because I thought that maybe that's what I wanted to do was like bring my talent to another network but that's not what I truly should be doing because it's not it didn't happen and that was like a huge wake-up call like why am I trying to do this when I do the jobs of six of those people I have so much more to offer to my community and to my listeners and to everybody watching my content online than just being shoved into a network and 
you know, maybe somebody not seeing my full capability and worth. That's when I was like, what am I doing? Like, I really had to figure out, like, why I was doing that. And then I started watching these courses on Pareto Labs, and I'm like, I I was getting this, like, fire in me, this rush in me again. And I'm like, I want to work with brands that just get me, that, like, get what I do. I'm obsessed with helping other business owners and entrepreneurs. I would never be able to do that if I was doing a nine-to-five. I don't even know, like how I would even survive doing that because I just don't even know that life anymore. I mean, never say never, but I'm here for a reason and I am obsessed with helping other people, but I can't do that unless I help myself first. And that's why I took a couple months off during the summer because I really needed to figure out like what it is that I wanted to focus on. Do I want to continue developing podcasts? Absolutely. I'm obsessed with doing that. And I keep saying obsessed, but I really am because I wouldn't be doing the work that I'm doing if I wasn't. I'm super passionate about it. And I think I've developed like 25 shows now all by myself. I mean, I do the back end, the front end. I write, produce, direct, develop, like design the artwork, design the website. Like I do all of it. That may seem absolutely insane to you, but for me, it's like writing a whole new book. I am in love with putting somebody's idea onto paper and then into production and then into a show. Like it's unreal. Never in my life did I think that I would be on this path. I mean, I was a pro makeup artist, traveled the world for years. I moved into yachts and jets and cruise ships and traveling again. And then everything came into fruition online in like 2006 when I was sick because I had no other choice but to bring my business online. And that's why during the pandemic, I was pretty well versed to the shit show that it was because everybody was losing everything and coming together on the internet. And I'm like, I already know what that felt like. I've already been there. So again, I was able to coach more people and take their business and turn it into a podcast that would make them money and that's what everybody needed or just coach them on what they truly wanted to do I mean I know you've seen the stories and all the content online like everybody finally sat down had to talk with themselves or their partner like hey like now's the time we can finally start this business and maybe it failed and maybe it was a huge success but they did it they would never would have done that if they weren't home during the pandemic you see where I'm getting by the way, I hope you can't hear my dryer. I just realized I didn't shut my door. Um, another thing with entrepreneurship, like I'm banging out all my loads of laundry while I'm recording the show for you, while I'm writing on the side, while I'm, you know, about to produce next. And then I have to film some content and then I'm going to my friend's son's baseball game and then we're packing and then I'm definitely going to have a glass of red wine. <laughs> and I'm probably going to sleep three hours and then we get in the car and we're on the road. But that's entrepreneurship. Like it's just always crazy. And you have to find these moments. Um, Who is that creator? Nabella. Um, I think that's how you say her name. And she created this incredible series called Pockets of Peace. And first of all, the video production is unreal. Okay, so I'm interrupting this episode really, really quickly to remind you about ParitoLabs.com again because this is something that you seriously cannot miss out on. I took a hiatus over the summer. We already discussed that. In that time, I was self-care, personal growth, teach me all the things, junkie, and obviously still am. I mean, this is why I'm here. I'm sharing all of my tips and tricks on the show, but also the brands and companies that I'm obsessed with, you need to know about. I can't keep this inside any longer. So when you go to ParitoLabs.com, again, it's an on demand video library you are learning from top execs from companies from disney hulu goldman sachs sony starbucks zip recruiter lift seriously so many more please take advantage of this trial it is so good you are going to get two weeks for free and then your first month is half off this is cheaper than netflix and you are learning and growing and investing yourself and saving time money and energy there is nothing better on the planet than this right here. So again, go to paritalabs.com, enter the code Kelly, K-E-L-O-Y at checkout. You will get not one, but two free weeks free. And then your first month is half off. But it is true. Like you have to find moments where you're just like two second break, five minute break. Like that's all it takes sometimes. And there are so many meditations and stretches and sound baths that are under 10 minutes because I've been doing them. And if you need some shoot me a message on the hotline 310-461-7051 or 
send me a DM online because um, I'm staring at them on my wall and I'd be more than happy to shoot you the link. It's just, I don't have patience for things that are really, really long unless I need my hour and a half sound bath from Susie, aka the Copper Vessel. That's a whole nother ball game. She is the absolute best. If you're not following her, I highly recommend. That's how I, she can, she's she been on the show too a couple of years ago, pre-pandemic, I believe, um, or maybe in the middle of the pandemic. Oh my gosh, it was so long ago. But I found her through a client when I was producing her show. And since then, I'm like listening to all her sound baths. And it's truly helped me heal. Sound healing is like next level. But the part that I want to reiterate is, you know, I am a workaholic. I am a perfectionist. I put an extremely insane amount of pressure on myself to get things done. But now I'm taking it slow. And that's just how I've always been with anything, to be honest with you. Um, now I'm focusing hard on things that I really want to do. I'm writing another book for gut health and inflammation. I'm creating new pumpkin recipes. I wanted to do one every day on TikTok, but that's life. That's literally my biggest pet, pet peeve is when I say something online and then I can't like uh, make it happen. It's rare, but it drives me nuts. But that is life. So I show up when I am supposed to. I you know, I'm a hundred percent real and raw. And what I want to focus on right now is doing LinkedIn profile audits. And I'm doing so many lately for women in the spa industry, sales in particular, because again, everybody's had to pivot their business and their brand. And that includes retail stores and spas. And I've been on LinkedIn coaching since I think like 2012, And I want to help more people level up there, like get it together with your profile so that you can get your job done, whether that's look for a new position or sales or marketing or repurposing your show. If you're a content creator, that's one of my focuses. Podcast development. Absolutely. My on-demand coaching experiences. Absolutely. One hour coaching calls. Absolutely. Like I've never been one person to focus on one thing ever in my life. I mean, have you met a Gemini? That is me to the core. (laughs) But I also have to say that like, I, I I couldn't see myself doing anything else. I I truly couldn't. Do I want a cooking show one day? Yes. Do I think I should produce a children's cooking show one day? Yes. Because I've been, (laughs) I have my little helper a lot of the time. Um, my friend's daughter helping me in the kitchen and there's just like a lot of creative projects that I have in the works and I'm really excited to share with you, but helping you get organized and scheduled and become more productive, whether that's as a business owner, online entrepreneur, stay at home mom, like I've got your back. I've got you covered. I have so many tips and tricks up my sleeves. I think my crazy insane background has helped me become, well, I know it's helped me become this version of myself and never in my life did I think I would be doing it in business, but you absolutely have to have routines. You have to invest in yourself. You have to be able to stop when something's not working out or learn to pivot or rebrand or design or, you know, take a break. Like I mentioned earlier, like all these things need to happen every now and then for you to get your mojo back, your spirit again, like to make you feel good, get that rush inside. And when I was watching Carita Labs, like, I'm not even kidding. Like that was happening. And I'm like, this is what I needed. I'm like, the last four months have been so intense, so insane. And I truly like hit like rock bottom to my core when it comes to a lot of things. And I just had to pick myself up back up again and try again, pick myself up back again and try again over and over and over again. And I'm like, why are these things happening to me? But I think my proudest moment so far in the past, like week or so was walking away from that big deal. Because as I mentioned earlier, like I would have taken that and just went with what was happening. And that is not who I am. That is not who my brand represents. And I am so glad that I did that because it was like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulder. And I was like, I can't be a part of something like that. It was like red flag galore. I had a conversation with a couple other colleagues and they're like, hell no, walk away. And that's something that you have to learn in entrepreneurship. Like it's so crazy. I got a random check the other day in the mail 
and it was from, I think, my account when I was at Wells Fargo when I actually was in Vegas during fight weekend. It was this insane weekend I worked, and I was clearing hundreds and thousands of dollars like by the hour in my accounts for the amount of tickets and experiences and jet prices and just everything I was doing in my luxury travel business. I don't normally talk about numbers like that, but that was my reality at that point in time. This is like way before I got sick. And I guess they closed accounts. I forget what the letter even said, but they closed accounts because they thought it was fraud. And I guess it happened to a lot of people, but they ended up sending me a check. So I had gotten my mail sent to me from San Diego the other day and I had a $150 check. I was like, see, things are looking up. That's not what this deal was, but... I know that money will always come and go and to me it's more important to go with my gut and keep with my integrity and my morals and keep my brand exactly how it should be but I'm my brand so I would never want to have my name affiliated with something that like just wasn't up to par up to my standards and how I would run things so those are calls you have to make and I'm just so glad that I did that but moving forward Less is more, baby. More time off social media and more time. It's like fall, y'all. It's almost sweater season. Sweater weather, almost. It's still like 90 something in Vegas. But the point of me saying all of this is that you have opportunities everywhere. You just have to be patient. And that's my current reality because I am pitching these brands and I have these creative projects work like in the works and I'm like when is it gonna happen when can I launch it I mean some things are like a year away like I'm not even ready for them but I just want to continuously work with other business owners and podcasters and get them where they want to be I've spent so much time developing my own that it's time to help others develop theirs like that's what I'm so passionate about So if you are looking for business LinkedIn podcasting information, I'm your girl. We can either get on a 15-minute call, a 30-minute call. You can binge all my content here on the show. You can go to my TikTok, to my YouTube. I'm obsessed with um, automating, repurposing, saving money, all of my apps and business tools. I'll leave all the show link, um, all the links in the show notes why can't I speak right now um because that's where all the good stuff is and like I said I'm in the middle of a rebrand I'm really excited I finally decided on my colors I think it's going to going to surprise you but I think that's all I wanted to share today it's really important for me to be open and honest and like share with you what I'm personally going through because I know that it will help at least you know the point of the show is just help one other person so if that's you and I did that for you today I would love it if you could leave me a review or slide into my dms let me know but also if you leave a review on apple Podcasts and screenshot and tag me I would absolutely love to send you a complimentary copy of the everything is messy book that I released almost two years ago. How is that even possible? All these reminders are coming up on my time hop and I'm like, what? This is insane. Like I was in pre-order mode right now, two years ago. The ebook went live October 1st, which is right around the corner two years ago. And then November 1st was the paperback. How insane is that? So that time flew by. Anyway, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad that you stayed to the very end because I wanted to give you a little gift. Don't forget to leave your review on Apple Podcasts so I can send you a copy of my book. Digital version, straight to your inbox. You can get it today. Just screenshot and tag me online so that I know. Or you can send it to my text number for the hotline for the show if you want. 310-461-7051. But that, my friends, is all I have for you today. I think that it's really important to be open and honest and have these discussions regarding entrepreneurship and why it's okay to pivot and completely change and redesign and do all the things. Just reinvent yourself. But more importantly, like just take time and a break for yourself with anything in life. Oh, the dryer stopped. Um, So that you can just be the best version of yourself first. That is is the most important because if I didn't invest all this time in myself by 
doing my routines morning and night, I wouldn't be the person who I am today or healed or business owner or online entrepreneur or author, podcaster, nothing. I could not be this person if I didn't, you know, use my tools in my toolbox, as they say. I've got a lot of tools, let me tell you. Um, And that's it. So if you're struggling as an entrepreneur, please know you are not alone. I've been running around as an entrepreneur. <laughs> like I've been in this game since 2006 and it's just like a crazy roller coaster world and I would not have it any other way. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's what brings so much joy and happiness and peace like into my life helping others. And I hope that by you tuning in today I was able to help you. And if not, maybe share this episode with a friend, but Again, I'm going to be discussing more things about entrepreneurship and business and giving you all the tips and tricks when it comes to business, LinkedIn, podcasting. If you didn't listen to the last episode, you know what? Episode 330 was the one where I was talking about my mind, body, business, life, all new vibes uh, situation, my little challenge I gave myself. Episode 331 is the little mini episode I just released this past Sunday, and that is how to monetize your podcast from the day that you launch. I got those numbers wrong. I apologize. Um, That's it. That's all I have for you. Don't forget, you have to check out the links in the show notes. Like, I'm not even kidding. There's so much good stuff for you there, including paritolabs.com. Enter the code Kelly at checkout, K-E-L-L-Y. You are going to get a two-week free trial. You are going to binge like a Netflix. No joke. And then you're going to get 50% off the first month. So it's actually half the price of Netflix, but like insane amount of production of all of these courses for your business as an entrepreneur. Everything I mentioned at the beginning of the show, go back and listen to that ad spot if you feel the need because, or just sign up. I mean, you have to do that because I can't stop watching them. And whatever I say, whenever I'm like so passionate and I say something like there's, I'm not kidding. Like you have to go to paritolabs.com, go to the checkout, do your two week free trial, enter the word Kelly, K-E-L-O-Y, grab your two week free trial Your first month is half off. It's literally seven bucks. There's nothing at that dollar amount. And you can't find this specific price anywhere else but here. And that is a very special offer that ParitoLabs.com has given me specifically for you. So I hope you enjoyed today's show. I will talk to you again soon. Thanks so much for tuning in to Kellyanne Cares, a one-of-a-kind show created to motivate, stimulate, educate, and inspire you. And I hope that happened for you today. As I mentioned in the intro, I would love your feedback on today's episode. Head to Apple Podcasts, YouTube, or your favorite podcast app to leave a review for the show. I would truly appreciate it. For more information on myself, the show, my book, and the programs, products, and services I've created, visit KellyanneGorman.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up for my weekly newsletter, join the podcast community, and check out the brands I'm currently loving. Let's continue today's conversation. You can connect with me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Kellyanne Gorman Official. All my other social handles will be available for you in the show notes. If you have a product, brand, story, or service you would like to share on the show, send me a message on KellyanneGorman.com today. As always, thanks for listening, sharing, and reviewing. I wouldn't be here without you, and I'm so grateful I get to do what I love each and every day. Wishing you a happy, healthy, positive, and productive day, and I'll talk to you again soon.